Clash of Clans has just dropped a massive update, and it's turning the game on its head. The Town Hall 17 update introduces some major changes, and let's just say not all of them are being celebrated. First, we need to talk about the Hero Hall. Supercell has decided to remove individual hero altars and replace them with this new building, the Hero Hall. While the idea of consolidating heroes into one place might sound efficient, it comes with a catch. You can only deploy four heroes at a time. That means one of your heroes, yes, the ones you've been upgrading for years, might be sitting on the bench. Imagine putting all that work into leveling up your Barbarian King, only to swap him out for the new Minion Prince. Yeah, it's a tough pill to swallow. Now let's dive into this Minion Prince first impressions. It looks, some are saying it feels out of place, almost like it wandered in from another game. But on the battlefield, it's clear this hero is built for air attacks. The question is, will it make a meaningful impact, or will it just soak up your resources? Speaking of which, the Minion Prince starts at a level relative to your hero hall. So if your other heroes aren't max, you're looking at a grind to catch up. And yes, upgrading heroes still requires a builder, making the process even more tedious. Oh, and in case you were wondering about the Grand Warden, he's been reworked to no more turning into a statue on defense. Instead, he's now mobile while defending, which might sound like a buff, but some players are already missing the old, unique mechanic. But the real controversy, the removal of the Eagle Artillery. It's been merged with the Town Hall itself, which now has a multi-mortar style attack. While this does free up space in your base layout, it's also a nerf in disguise. The once iconic Eagle Artillery, capable of raining destruction across the battlefield, is now just a secondary feature of the Town Hall. And let's not even start on how merging defenses into fewer buildings limits strategic placement options. On the flip side, this update does bring some quality of life improvement. Lower Town Halls will have access to heroes earlier, like unlocking the Archer Queen at Town Hall 8. It's a huge change that shifts the early game dynamic. But for longtime players, it might feel like the grind we once took pride in is being replaced with shortcuts. Here's the bottom line. This update changes the way Clash of Clans is played. Whether you see it as a necessary evolution or a step in the wrong direction depends on your perspective. What's undeniable is that Supercell is pushing the game into uncharted territory. Love it or hate it, this is a new era for Clash of Clans. The only question is, are you ready to adapt?